thank you so much for coming to our meeting. Um, can you please tell us your position? Yes, uh, thank you for having me. I'm really enjoying my time. Uh, my name is Davey Smith. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of California in San Diego. Um, I'm also the director of the Center for AIDS Research in San Diego, and I am the chief of infectious diseases and global public health. Mm, that's very impressive <laughs> because you're very young. My so, mom thinks that it's very impressive. Oh, <laughs> many persons think so, also that. Um, can you um, tell us um, if you have any advice to have to achieve a successful, successful um, scientific life? Um, I'm still working on my scientific life, um, but the biggest thing that I've learned is to have fun and to stay curious and creative. And the best thing about science and the most important thing about science is to make very good testable hypotheses. So if I had to give any advice for people is to really spend a lot of time thinking about what questions that they want to answer and frame it in a hypothesis that can be tested. And don't be afraid of controls. Use as many as you can use and uh, you will always go far. Okay, that's very nice um, advice. Um, in your clinical approaches um, in viral diseases, do you, what do you consider to be um, the most difficult challenge in our society? In our society, um, it is many people do not understand what viruses are. And we need to do, we scientists um, and clinicians and uh, educators need to do a better job at educating society about what a virus is and how it's transmitted and what kind of diseases it causes and why vaccines are important. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the most important is more education. Mm -hmm. um, what do you consider can be a alternative set of skills you could develop to improve your performance as a scientist? That is a good question. Mm -hmm. um, if I could wave a magic wand and get one new skill, I would want to learn computer programming. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that bioinformatics uh, is very important these days mm -hmm. and the amount of data that we generate in the laboratory mm -hmm. need to be analyzed correctly. And I see lots of scientific studies that were designed appropriately, data were generated great, but not analyzed appropriately. So if there could be one skill, new skill, I think computer, um, sciences would be most important. Mm -hmm. The second most important mm -hmm. would be uh, how to write okay. mm -hmm. and to communicate. Scientists mm -hmm. goes back to that other question. We don't often do a good job at communicating what we know mm -hmm. and how we both in papers and to the public. Mm -hmm. So that would be important. Um, and if you could uh, go back in time, would you um, choose the same career? Yes. No doubt. No doubt. I enjoy, I'm a physician scientist, so I mm -hmm. see patients and I work in the lab and I enjoy both of those um, activities and it keeps me uh, having fun. Okay. And do you think that in later times, um, government and society has increased their interest in virus or this hasn't changed? That's a good question. I don't think it's changed too much. I mm -hmm. think that when government and society get scared, when Zika comes to the border, right now there is a avian flu circulating in China. Uh, people are getting avian flu and it will cause probably the next pandemic and people will be scared and then they will be interested in viruses. But that's too late. We need to be interested in viruses before then. And I think that's where science and scientists can really help spur the conversation. And um, how do you compare uh, Mexican biological research to the rest of the world? I've really enjoyed my time here and I've met a lot of really <laughs> smart, fun, creative, passionate people. Okay. Probably some of the smartest creative people in the world in terms of their science and in terms of what they want to do with science. They just need resources to do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid that Mexico 
won't have the resources to keep those really smart people here mm -hmm. to be the next generation of the scientists to lead the country forward. Mm -hmm. So that's what I worry about. The people, mm -hmm. smart, creative, mm -hmm. best in the world, they just need the opportunity to realize those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, right now, what's your opinion about is it harder for students right now to do research? Yes, I think students have a hard time doing research right now, but it is um, getting better. Mm -hmm. I think that the opportunities just need to be provided to them. They're always going to be smart young people who are going to be smarter than me, who are going to know how to do the computers and all that. But they just need to give the opportunities to keep them engaged. Okay. And um, as a physician, can you give us an advice to involve uh, more um, physicians into the lab work? It goes back to that communication. So it's not just about communicating to mm -hmm. society at large or politicians mm -hmm. at large. Communicate to the physicians. They went to medical school, they learned about what a virus is. Mm -hmm. But they need to understand why it's important to talk about virology, why it's important to talk about the mechanisms of viruses and how to make drugs and to use those drugs appropriately. So that communication, that conversation needs to start. And that's how physicians will get more engaged. Mm -hmm. And finally, what's your opinion about our Congress? I love this Congress. I'm hoping mm -hmm. I get invited back someday. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.